Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Danielle, it might seem like NCAA basketball is the only sport in town right now, but that is not the case, young lady. Hmm? Did you know that it's also rugby season two? Yeah, and did you know that rugby is one of the fastest growing sports in the U.S.? And the man who knows more about rugby than just about anyone is here with us and some news about the rugby programming coming to your view. So please welcome in Matt McCarthy. Matt, thanks so much for joining us on Main Street Living. Oh, thanks for having me. But you just opened up my world to a whole can of worms by saying knows more than anybody. I'm going to hear it yeah, from everybody I to. know. Yeah. But yeah, okay, it's no great pressure. to be here. <laughs> Well, Matt, you're the host of the Rugby Wrap-Up Show. What is this show all about? So Rugby Wrap-Up, without the the, is um, basically all global rugby coverage, sometimes with a wink. Rugby is chock full of characters and personalities. And the beauty of rugby worldwide is that, unlike some of our professional sports here on American soil, everybody is kind of accessible. So you can get like the Bill Belichick's of the coaching world, and you can get the Tom Brady's that are actually players to actually chat with you. Like it's no big deal. So we cover global rugby, but specifically we have major league rugby going on with your San Diego Legion in San Diego that we are focusing on right now. Okay. Well, so rugby from what I understand is hugely popular around the world. Right. But, but here in the U S it seems like it's just starting to gain a little following up. Why do you think rugby is starting to get that, attraction right now i think it appeals to a lot of different uh demographics in Amer on the american professional landscape it combines a lot of sports and we have now youth playing rugby so when i when i started playing i started playing at i i was an ice hockey player that went to the university of buffalo and i just picked up the game there and that's the way a lot of people of, of my generation started playing rugby but now i have friends of mine with kids that are playing rugby. So it's growing from the grassroots and there are viable pathways. Like you have an Olympic dream. Now as a rugby player, you have mm. professional league in the United States going into its fifth year. So kids are now identifying with players and stars and see a pathway to actually making a living playing rugby in America. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But part of getting into it is understanding it. So how do you describe rugby to someone who doesn't know the game? Very basically, and again, I am going to get slammed for this from my my mates. Uh, it's basically tackle soccer. A kid at soccer practice in 1823 okay. picked up the ball, started running around with it because he was bored to tears, and people started tackling him, and they were like, hey, we just invented a game. We need a name for it. Well, what are we going to call it? Well, we're at the school called rugby and the town called rugby, so let's call it rugby. It's like the least creative name ever made uh, other than Main Street. It's straightforward. It's yeah. simple. It tells Very the people simple. what they need to know. Very yeah. simple. But it's cool. Yeah. You know, it combines a lot of different things in American sports, like the tackling, the running, and you're on your own out there. You're not allowed to hide behind a blocker. So it's 15 on 15, and you want to get as many people to tackle you and pass the ball off, and it's a challenge. So, And there's no substitutions. You, if you go out, you're out for the match. Oh, wow. So this is completely – And no touchdowns. They're called tries, right? And ironically, a touchdown in football – came from rugby because you touch the ball down when you score a try. And if you don't touch the ball down, I can carry you out of the end zone or try zone and throw and and it's not a score. Yeah, see, I I did not know that all I knew was street football. And that was the only thing we had to watch out for was mailboxes and and and, and <laughs> of course you gravel, right. You know, so <laughs> so explain like why do you love rugby so much? Uh Again, it just the, the the uniqueness of it is it combines the different things that you need in American professional sports. There is passing, there is tackling, there is but the tackle doesn't end the play. You have to roll, get back up, and get into position. So it's that there's a wrestling aspect to it. Uh, ice hockey and wrestling, I would say, translate very well. And American football came from rugby, mm -hmm. but the thing is, you you don't. You want to last the 80 minutes. There's no better feeling in the world coming off a rugby pitch under your own volition after 80 minutes, specifically if you've if you've won. And the difference, yeah. the difference, the big difference is your the host team has to take the visiting team out for dinner and maybe drinks, depending on your age. And nice. that's a tradition. Wow. That's that's a good one. I mean, there's a lot to buy into there. I love that the play doesn't end after the tackle, obviously, too, because you have to get back up. I think in football, it's one big hit. 
Uh, but with rugby, it's like, you got to keep going. So I think that's really a draw as well. But for those who don't know, starting March 17th, our viewers in California will be able to watch rugby wrap up right here on your view every Thursday at 9 PM. What's exciting about this new partnership and why should viewers tune in? Uh, it's, you know, let's checking out new things, you know, and this is a game, as you said, it's the fastest growing game in the United States. There's no, it's, 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 there's no hiding behind commercials. It's 80 minutes of action. I think the average NFL game has 17 and a half minutes of action, but rugby is all action. There are no commercial breaks. There's no timeouts. There's no substituting back and forth. It's something that the American fan can embrace. Wow. Well, um, I don't know if I would ever qualify to be a rugby player because I have asthma, so I have to take breaks. We can handle that. Quick. Come on, Quincy. Come Bring on. Get an inhaler. Come we'll on. call you the Q. We'll get you on the pitch. You'll be fine. Get an inhaler. Get back in the game. All right. Well, well where can viewers uh, uh, find more on your website? Well, viewers can find more on your website, but what's that website and what will they find? It's rugbywrapup.com. Again, we are global rugby coverage, sometimes with a wink, but if it's about rugby, you can find it on rugbywrapup.com, or I can tell you where to find it. <laughs> I'm Matt McCarthy, the expert that we promised. He was here. Thank you so much to Matt. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. All right. Well, it's all this rugby talk, it's got me all amped up. But the things we have to remember, too, when we're playing sports is how to protect our brain. So mm. we're going to talk about that next on Main Street Living.